Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with Project Infinity episode number 4. Alright, so in the previous episode we saw the main characters, uh, the part-time rebels, them getting into the school, um, what do you call that, that party that they're having, just so that they can snatch, uh, not snatch, but kind of um, take the thing uh, what, what is it called that communicator uh, that is in Connor's uh, ears now they're probably going to like plan some kind of dummy instead of that now I think that's like one of the biggest problem this, that this plan is going to uh, have because Connor might uh, you, know, you know like kind of understand that yeah this is like a fake thing so it's it's a race against time like no one knows when he'll under, like you know when he'll figure it out so that and also uh, we also saw the whole background of the family Kono's family and how he is kind of like you know being used by his parents in a way uh, and how he is kind of you know the like being not manipulated but kind of being pressurized to do this kind of things like not as per se pressurized because he is himself is doing it but he's doing it just so that his parents can approve of him you know so it's kind of a sad um what do you call it like thing that connor has to go through this that and also like by the end of it we also see how <coughs> olivia uh goes into the restroom and he finds like you know she finds um josephine there now like after like th th that's where it ended so let's see how josephine handles this because even though she had the mask you know in her face who knows olivia might like you know suspect something about her so let's see what happens how like you know how she gets out of the situation so without further ado let's get started with project infinity episode number four and also um this is made by mla entertainment this is an original web series all the like you know links will be given down in the description the original videos link so be sure to check it out if you haven't so let's get started all right so here we go episode number four start an elusive group of rebels recently battled octavia near aquind academy it appeared as if octavia had the upper hand until a rebel we believed to be gun lambton made a surprise victory oh who is narrating this and termination of these it says is now we believe priority. so could it be that these oh, people are Connor. students at my father's academy? Connor is narrating this, okay. It's my job to find out. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see how they get out of the situation. And how, like, you know, they snatch the communicator without, you know, letting Connor realize. <clears throat> All right, here we go, episode number four. Okay, what's the stress signal? All right, okay, there we go. It was getting a bit crowded for me. I agree. Hmm. You know. Val doesn't want the students here to think that there are really rebels out there. But they've oh. proven to be quite a headache. The only rebel we can identify for sure is Gun Lampton, that yeah. escapee from a camp. Those camps are crawling with rats like him. No one's certain what he looks like except for the Leah that worked there. And now okay. she's malfunctioned. That's good. Anyway, I hope I have the honor of killing that kid myself. 
Wow. Filthy <laughs> traitor. <laughs> She's too How direct. How do you dare to run like this? Can you really blame him though? Oh no. Don't go there. Okay. Well, I think... Um... Oh. Yeah, she's suspicious now. Okay, I don't know if that's... Oh my god. Your dancing is as smooth as butter, new kid. Thanks. Call me Morris. Alright. I've never felt anything like this before. Her hand intertwined with mine as we wow. hold each other close, dancing to the music. It's like um, every fantasy I've had about girls. You're, you're, it's you're in a true. mission. Gun. All those years you don't lose. Being hidden away from them. They're finally mine. <laughs> Let's dance, Letty. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes that Morris seems like he has some screws loose. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself. He looks like a lunatic. <laughs> he just has strong feelings and doesn't know what to do with them. Do uh, you ever have strong feelings? Hmm. Towards people? Well. Uh. Um. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to flirt with him. <laughs> I really don't want to. Wow. Okay. But sis would do what she had to do. Right. It's my mission. Yeah, mission. You know, Connor, I never noticed how luscious your hair is. <laughs> huh? Oh, she's probably going to, like, you know, touch her hair. Oh, yeah, there you go. And tapers carefully to the nape of your neck. <laughs> and... Oh, never heard you talk like this. <laughs> Let me run my fingers through it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, so this is how she's going to. Wow. That's a good plan. I was thinking, how is she going to do it? Excuse me, Morris. I need to use the little princess's room. I'll miss you. Gun. Oh my god, she's like. Easy to forget all the bad things that are happening in the world when you're somewhere like this. Hmm. Looks like you're not the only one who has a way with women tonight. <laughs> I'm glad things are going well for you with Violet. With the way you've been stalking me lately, I'm beginning to get a little creeped out. Yeah. It's my job as student faculty to get to know all of my fellow students and make them feel welcome. Well, don't worry. I feel plenty welcome. Yeah. Wait, he does not have... Yeah. Didn't he? She, like, switch it up? The rumors about Rebels trying to put up a fight against the Union. Is that true? The battle near school? It was real, all right. And it probably won't be the last, either. Hmm. I see. Why is he... In that case... I hope that Octavia won't be alone next time. She sure was outnumbered. Wait a minute. Did he just mess up? Why did he say a... Oh no, why did he say... Connor! Oh what are you god, doing? come on! You're one of them! What? He slipped up, oh great. I'm thinking like, why is he... Great, I said too much about the battle. How can I explain why I knew Octavia was involved? Connor! Trace it! You're one of the rebels! Oh! What's going on? Oh my god! Morris said that Octavia was the one no, who fought no. the rebels the other day. Oh There's no. no way he could have known that unless he was involved. You idiot! I'm the one who told him that. What? Oh! Good save! Thank You're God. making a fool out of yourself, Connor. Jumping on random students like a madman. But I. Wow, that was a close was call. A test. No, look what you've done. Sorry. Uh, I, I guess I jumped to conclusions too fast. You don't want to keep failing me, boy. You better get smart real fast. 
My apologies, everyone. There was a small mm. misunderstanding. Please, return to what you were doing and enjoy the party. That's it. Just but Octavia might be suspicious about something because boys, big she boys. saw a gun, <laughs> even though he was kind of covering her his face. I'm Dumplin. You're covered wow. in condiments. Oh, we better get you cleaned up. <laughs> Morris, your clothes have been washed. I'll just leave them here. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry about our little misunderstanding. <laughs> With all the things that are happening outside the school these days, I've been a little on edge. I'm sure you understand. Hmm. Yeah. I'd like for us to try and be normal friends from now on. I'd like that too. If anyone's a rebel around here, <laughs> it's definitely not me. <laughs> I guess you're right. Wow. The amount of... But still, you know, it's kind of funny. What? I've known Violet Stanhope for a long time now. Oh. And she never mentioned anything about you before. Yeah. Okay. Well, because we see you later, new kid. We became friends, like you know, recently. So, you I hope you're pleased with the little production you put on tonight. Oh my God! Next time you suspect someone, Jeez. I would hope you'd have the sense to confront them privately. Well, actually, he was correct. I'm sorry, father. He is correct. So, I was just trying to do what you asked. You know. I took action before I had enough evidence. But I'm still not convinced that Morris isn't suspicious. Why? He was doing extra credit at the time of the attack. Plus, Violet never mentioned having any living family besides her older sister and her parents. Oh. Until he showed up. Why would she tell you something like that? Yeah, and like... I did extra credit with him and Violet that day too, so there's nothing to suspect there. Why are you so obsessed with him anyway? I'm not... Obsessed. You have to admit that even for a new kid, he is a bit strange. Haven't you noticed his personality? So what? He's different. It's like you want him to be a rebel or something. Maybe your own jealousy is clouding your judgment. Oh, Josephine, don't speak to your brother that way. <sighs> well, it's true. I feel like Connor's had it in for more since day one. Why are you all so afraid of these rebels? Okay, anyway? like don't play it too hard. Might like people might suspect anything of, or something. Like if he supports him so much. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, wow. This guy can't keep his hands to himself. That's enough. You're lucky I don't wring your neck for speaking in such a manner. This family serves the union, and don't you ever forget that. These rebels don't deserve to live another day. A child's worth is determined by what they can offer to the future of this world. Wow. What a fantastic... You both have a lot to... Ball. Ball. <sighs> Come here. Let's go. Yes, dear. <laughs> well, this guy is... I'm talking about the dad. Hmm. Sis? Leave me alone. Hmm. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. We're gonna be late. <laughs> wow. You talk in your sleep, by the way. See you in class. Oh no. I hope he does not divulge anything in his sleep talk. You know? There has got to be something wrong with someone who wakes up that happy. <laughs> Come on. Think about it, Violet. I told you already, I had too much punch or I wouldn't have given you the time of day. 
Move on. What you Move on. My hair. You're making that up. You were so brave last night, Morris. Oh, I caught her like that. Do you have any plans for the weekend? I'll cancel them if I do. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you have some part time job to do. Credit assignments he needs to finish. Yeah. Right, Morris? Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, really? More extra credit, huh? Yep. My parents always taught me to aim for the top. Yes. I'd like to meet the them top. sometime. <clears throat> um. Oh, my God. Thanks for killing that opportunity. That's a way to thank the person who saved your rear oh. end last night. Letty's the first girlfriend I've ever had, and you made sure we didn't get to do anything this weekend. Oh, so she's your girlfriend now. That's quite a leap. Um, what would you know? Gun, you're forgetting you your mission. Know everything about someone to know you like them. Would you stop it already? You're acting like a hormonal drama queen. So having feelings makes me hormonal? Maybe something's wrong with you, Miss oh. I Feel Nothing. Very mature. Stop acting like a baby. Gun! Gosh, did you both sprinkle stupid on your cereal this morning? <laughs> she started it. True. <sighs> now, Josephine, why did you act like Gunn was busy this weekend? Security around the school has lit up a little bit. Morris wants to take advantage of it and meet up. What? Oh no, oh no. Well, Morris is his name, so... Going. Oh god. Well, more people are suspicious now. Wait, who's... Who's this? It's at least a month away. I say we waited long enough. Wait, who's this? Is this gun? Like, did he dye his hair or something? What are you doing here? I am a soldier. Then why aren't you in uniform? Do you have any ID? Uh, I... I... This is gone, isn't uh, it? Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, probably not. Looking for something, were you? It looks like we caught ourselves a rebel. We have some exciting plans for you. Oh no, no, this is not gone. I don't think so. This is it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's not gone. Really I was thinking... cool. How did you go about getting that? Please don't make me relive it, Lars. <laughs> this is a big leap for us. Now we'll be able to avoid the Leas more easily. Huh? Um, is what? that coming from this? No, it's a distress signal. Oh, okay, thank Randall God. I was thinking must you'd... be in trouble. What are we going to do? He must have gotten busted. If oh. we go to save him, there's a chance none of us will come back alive. Hold up. Who are we talking about? Yeah. He's one of us, remember? He went to look for clues on where they might be keeping Princess Annabelle. Okay. Right before you showed up. All right. The signal's coming from a Union Air Base, 19 kilometers south from here. The place will be crawling with guards. Morris, what should we do? We have to help him. Yeah. They've got us cornered. We have no choice but to take the risk and save him. Yeah, okay. At least get the ship moving in that direction. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. Wait a minute. I don't think so. I'm not going to risk my life for someone I don't even know. Well, about that. Not, it's his own fault for getting caught. Okay, if he we is... go and get caught too, then all of this will have been for nothing. I'm not going. Um... Gun. I realize that you value your own life more than anyone else's, and all you want to do is kill Val. Yeah, that's not but how But you need to understand that things work differently around here. Mm. We value life. Every life. We fight the Union to protect innocent people from terrorism and prosecution. We believe that no life is expendable. Yes, we may very well walk to our own death today, but we won't go down without a fight. Yeah, like, and we if, certainly if you, won't abandon our friend. Like, if you do what Gunn is saying, then how are you different than the Ionian? As for you, 
I give you two options. Yeah, either you can come with us, us or like leave. Or you can walk right out that door and go yeah. find Val on your own. You're clever. I'll give you that. But you won't get far around here with that selfish heart of yours. You risk either dying alone or dying with us. Which will it wow. be? Wow, that's a good way to say it. You know, like die alone or die with us. I don't think he has any choice. Very well. Let's go. Yes. Okay, so this is um, the, the, that guy. I thought he was like, this you know, gun in disguise. Well, well, oh well. Oh my well. god. I must admit, I was beginning to think we would never capture one of you. You've caused us quite a bit of grief, you know. Uh, I hope he does what spill any kill? beans. We'll kill him, of course. What? But what? first. Yeah, he, they're going to torture him. We should have a little chat with our guest. Yeah, well, interrogation. I can see the base from here. We need to land a safe distance from the facility to avoid being seen. The trees near the east entrance will do, dear. We don't have much time. We will have to get him as soon as possible or it will be too late. So, what's the plan? This is the map of the facility. Okay. Elise? The distress signal originated in this part of the facility. The facility used to be run as a concentration camp. There are some cells in this area, and okay. I'd be willing to bet that they're keeping Randolph there. Wouldn't they just kill him on the spot? Oh, they might try to bait no. them, you know? Bait they the other elves. They would to kill him without interrogating him first. I want to send Josephine and Lars to retrieve him. And what will you be doing? Well, Sitting here while your younger pawns put their lives on the line? Come on, gun. Like guarding the entrance, waiting for them to return with Randolph. If anything goes wrong, contact me and I'll okay. watch Okay, well, But Morris! At least, you stay here and be ready to fly us out once we're back on board. Y yes sir. I'll go with you, Morris. I've just finished developing a stun gun. This is the perfect mission to put it to the test. A right. stun gun? Uh, I guess it's more of a taser. If they're not too far away, it can hit the target with 50,000 volts. Ooh. Nothing lethal, just enough to knock them unconscious. Wow. Lars, you be ready to throw Randolph over your shoulder. He may be injured. Mm. Josephine, you are to protect Lars. Can Josephine handle the guards on her own? Of course I can. I would prefer if someone assisted her. Uh, Violet? Okay. Uh, Morris, you know Violet has bad aim when it comes to handguns. Okay. She could get us into a mess. <laughs> hey! <laughs> then... Gun, yeah. He's the only one. Gun? <sighs> Fine. But I'm not going because of the team. I'm going because I need to prove to myself that I'm not scared to do this stuff. Well, in the first episode, you kind of, like, you know, freaked Father out, so... patience with me. And after the fool I made out of myself the other night, I can't blame him. He won't be so easy on me next time. He has a fake thing in his but ears. But I know that something is up with this Morris kid. He's always hanging around my sister. It's clear he's starting to brainwash her or something. <laughs> what? Those comments she made have come from. Wait, that's what's bothering you? Okay, well... Oh no! Leah is here. Hmm... Maybe I could order Leah to start spying on him. I'll just pull up his student ID and have Leah scan it. Leah, come with me. I have a special job for you. <laughs> She's not responding. The, Leah, I said come with me. <laughs> she... Huh? <laughs> Piece of junk. What's wrong with this thing? Oh! 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he got it. Is it right? Yeah, he 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 understood. This isn't my earpiece. Now but he's going to suspect. Then where did? Yeah, he's going to suspect. This is bad. Or maybe not. Wait, he's not suspecting. I thought he was going to suspect. You know, because they dance together. Stand back and watch the impressive range of my little creation. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Weapons aren't toys, you know. Well. What's your problem? Listen, I've got a plan. Those guards could actually be of use to us. Oh. Oh, this, this guy's great idea. Nice. Now we don't have to hide. Uh, it's so baggy on me. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Who is you? If you two are done, let's head inside. <laughs> I heard that they weren't going out anymore. Well, you're wrong. He hasn't told her he's in love with Florence. So he's basically with two girls at once? <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Connor, oh, this is a surprise. What could the son of Mr. Acklin want with little old me? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt like this, but I was wondering if we could speak privately. Huh? <gasps> um, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Is there a problem? You're so charming that I almost forgot. You tackled my honey dumpling like he was a criminal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, what is this? Wow, Thumb. look at those eyes. <laughs> On second thought, I guess I have some time to kill. Meryl, give us some privacy, sugar. <laughs> Great. There. Now what? It's just the two of us now. What was it you wanted to talk yeah, about? Yeah, what does he even need from her? This is difficult for me to say, but... Oh, spying on gun. Oh, God. It's my sister, Josephine. Josephine? She may be in trouble. Oh. Huh? Trouble? Lately, she doesn't hardly speak to me. You're friends with her. Do you think you could keep a close eye on her for me? Okay, he's Did getting... you notice anything? I to keep an eye on Josephine. Oh, I thought it would be gun. Keep an eye on Josephine? Well, sure. I can do that. Hmm. Thank you. It would have been better for her, her like, if he, if he said, you know, told her to keep an eye on gun, that would have been a better, I'm guessing, an option because, like, you know, gun is quite smitten with her, so it would have been easier. I don't know why, like, at, at least I thought when he started saying, like, you know, talking with her, I thought, like, he would have told her to keep an eye on gun, not Josephine. Okay. Well, it's quite. You know, quite a surprise. Hmm. All right, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. All right, so this was episode number four of um, Project Infinity. Now, <clears throat> okay, so here we see, like, we kind of resume our, um, the episode from the previous episode where, like, Octavia was confronting uh, Josephine. Now, then, like, nothing much happened there. Like, I was thinking, like, probably she's going to suspect Josephine or something. Nothing like that happened. So, you know, and they kind of came came out. The biggest problem that happened here was 
uh gun slipping like you know like slipping and telling that oh like octavia like it, it was a pretty like you know like a, a quite a battle or something like that he said <laughs> um that, that was like one of the biggest myths that he did now thank god josephine had the you know quick like, you know she thought quickly and was able to salvage that situation where she said that like what the hell are you even doing connor like i told him isn't that obvious like you know like you are like suspecting each and every person like like wow that was like some quick thinking and i i doubt like you know connor could have uh, not connor um gun could have like you know could have bypassed that situation as easily like that like it didn't even like you know like i didn't even think about something like that the thing that josephine did was so like you know quick-witted like i think maybe she kind of had this uh you know uh she already thought about some kind of excuse if somehow gun slips up like i'm sure like he had this answer ready in her mind <laughs> you know like she must have thought that oh like this is gun we're talking about he might slip up and say something so whenever something like that happens i'll just come like you know come in front of everyone and say that i told him i i think like that's one of the best like you know one of the best uh ways to uh salvage and bypass the situation and that was close i have to say because he would have been arrested then and there if um you know if he like if she um, if josephine did not come and save him and uh, yeah and then um, still like connor is kind of suspecting of him and i like you know th one thing this would probably uh help the rebels in a way is that now that this something like this has happened uh, the suspicions of the other people for example uh, at least the uh, you know parents of josephine like their suspicion on gun would reduce but at the same time i think the suspicion of octavia and connor has increased because of this because both of them are like you know they are connected somehow to gun they know more of gun than the others so as soon as something like this happened like you know like gun slipped up and said something like this even though josephine salvaged the situation i'm sure octavia has a little bit of uh, suspicion playing in her mind because she was in front of gun when everything happened even though gun was wearing that mask so i'm sure she's going to suspect something not if not now maybe in the future and connor is already suspecting of gun because you know like like i thought maybe he like you know he was suspecting uh, gun because he thought that um josephine was you know trying to save gun too much you not know, trying to you know like do like you know help gun so so much so i thought like maybe connor was suspicious of that and that's why he like you know he is so suspicious on uh, gun it's kind of like not like that like when he in the in the later portion of the uh, episode like when he said that oh i think gun is brainwashing my sister i thought that oh so he is actually not suspecting just i thought he was suspecting josephine that's why like you know because josephine is covering gun he's also suspecting gun so that's not what's happening he is suspecting gun because he think gun is you know brainwashing josephine so it's actually the reverse now i don't know like so that means he does not suspect josephine at all this was a surprise for me because up until now i thought maybe she he is suspicious of josephine so he's not suspicious of josephine at all that means most probably otherwise why would he say that gun is brainwashing my like you know sister so yeah so i think like you know connor is thinking something like that like it's connor is thinking that oh like my sister is like you know saying something like this in front of all of us like you know she's kind of rebelling why is that uh, when did this start after gun started interacting with her so that means maybe is gun like one of the rebels so he's trying to you know kind of uh, bring one of the <clears throat> uh, you know uh, the, the daughter of the one of the top union members he's trying to bring her to his side so that he, like you know he can get uh, away with all of this so i think like connor's thought process is something like this so that's why he is suspecting 
uh, gun. So yeah, anyways, um, and <clears throat> okay, another thing that I was really surprised here is when, um, you know, like when Connors started talking with that girl, I don't remember her name, the girl that uh, gun is so smitten on. So like, you know, when he said that keep an eye on Josephine, I don't know, I think if he could have, if he said that keep an eye on gun, that would have been a better, you know, opportunity for him. Because, yeah, like that girl could, like, you know, keep a better eye on gun than Josephine. Because gun is, you know, so like giddy in front of her. So I'm sure like he would have slipped something up. So making her a spy was a good decision. But I think the target that um, Connor uh, told her to keep an eye on should have been gun if he wanted a better job to be done. So that's kind of helpful in a way for the rebels because I don't think Josephine will slip up, you know? Or maybe Connor is like asking her to keep an eye on Josephine because he thinks that gun might try to do something to her maybe that's it yeah that that's a more like you know reasonable thing i now that i think about it because uh like connor does not suspect josephine at all from the previous scene that we saw so that means maybe he's trying like you know telling uh, that girl to keep an eye on josephine so that like, you know nothing like gun doesn't try to do anything with her like that's something like he's thinking most probably and he said that he's going to uh, like you know order a Leah to do something but the Leah is not like listening to anything so like this is another mystery that we are kind of like you know mm, like uh, that's happening here like the Leahs are not listening to others and the Leah kind of helped the gun before so this is one of the mysteries like in the first episode I kind of said that maybe because the order was given to Leah that to apprehend gun not to kill him so maybe if someone is trying to kill him they like you know the Leah is just uh, uh, obeying orders and like saving him so that they can apprehend him or something like that I kind of made this kind of uh, like you know a theory but who knows maybe if that's true or not because we can see that the Leah are kind of not listening to anyone not, not like you know like most of the people like for example in this episode we see like it was not listening to Connor at all uh, oh may maybe that oh sorry sorry that was because of the headset okay I kind of mixed it up with something else all right, so it did not listen to Connor because of the headset. Okay, all right, all right. So yeah, okay, like uh, scratch that. The thing that I said before, scratch that. That's probably not it. So that was the reason why like the leader was not listening to Connor. Okay, but anyways, like, but, but still, there is some kind of mystery, like you know, surrounding the Leah, because it's kind of, you know, malfunctioning as they say. So maybe my theory is true, you know, because the order was specifically given to them to capture Gun. Like whoever is trying to kill Gun, the Leah is kind of stopping that. Who knows? I'm not sure. I'll, I'm sure we'll get more answers later on. And another thing that I was quite su surprised this episode is Gun suddenly kind of like you know saying that oh like I don't want to help him like you know like like I'm I'm. Like, I don't want to risk my life to do this. Like, I don't even know him. Well, you know, like, they are rebels for a reason. Like, what? Like, what? their main goal is to help everyone. Now, even as, as like, Morris said, that your goal is different. You just want to kill Val. That's your goal. So, your best bet is to stick with us. And if you want to stick with us, you better, like, you know, um, obey orders. Because we won't, like, you know, we won't do things according to your orders. You will obey us. If you don't want that, you can, like, you know, leave and do it your own way. So, you know, decide. Live, like, you know, die alone or die with us. And I don't know, like, this kind of, uh, like, obviously, like, gun is not one of those persons, like, you know, one of those people with... A huge sense of you know justice nothing like that he is focused on his um, goal kill that and like I, I was really a bit shocked in this episode when he like reacted like that like you know like I I at least would have expected him to 
uh you know like help the team members at like you know at least like the person who has captured is their teammate so even though he is kind of uh not like one of those moral uh, he, like you know moral he, uh, heroes of justice nothing like that like i thought maybe he would have helped at least their team but as he said like i don't know him so who knows maybe if like you know one of these members were at a pinch he probably would have helped them but just maybe because as he said like i don't even know him that's why he was saying that no i won't help him maybe that's just it who knows and yeah <laughs> so like i need to, i think gun needs to chill down like you know like he really needs to chill down like his personality is so what can i say like it's so scattered like you know it's like all over the place like like at one time he's kind of saying i'll kill val i'll kill val you know like vengeance is all i need something like that the next scene he's kind of getting giddy at like you know dancing with a girl and like you know kind of getting smitten on her and all of that and then in the next scene he's kind of like you know selfishly saying that no i won't help others like you know i just want to like complete my goal like like his personality is really interesting i have to say like this is really like you know here and there like all over the place his his like personality his um his mannerisms and everything <laughs> like you know so yeah and let's see as he said like i'm going to prove myself now as far as i can remember gun like was freaked out in the first episode when he was almost going to die so let's see did he improve after that let's see i'm sure in the next episode we'll get our answer because now they're going to uh, rescue them so and gun is given the you know uh, given the duty to help uh, you know to uh, act as a bodyguard of uh, josephine and the other guy i can't remember his name the guy uh, who makes you know made the taser so yeah <clears throat> okay so i think that was it and another thing that i noticed here is the mom probably that i'm talking about josephine's mom the mom probably does not have any like you know cannot say anything that would um oppose her husband because you know when like like the the dad slapped josephine her mom was kind of quiet you know and we can kind of see that her mom was like deliberately not saying anything probably because like you know he would have you know like also could have like wouldn't listen to her or something like that or like who knows maybe he would have hit her like i i think the, the the personality of that guy like who like he he's like one of those characters who cannot keep his hand to himself like he always like slapping his children like you know slapping his son slapping his daughter daughter and who knows like he like might do something to his wife as well something like that like i won't like you know like like uh, i think so most probably like his personality is like that so i'm i'm sure like the mom probably does not like this but she cannot say anything because she's powerless you know who knows so yeah that's it so that was this episode this was episode number four of project infinity the original web series so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe to uh subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below as well i'll check all the comments out and also be sure to support the original uh, people who make this uh, this video mla entertainment the links will be given down in the description box go and check them out if you haven't and uh, so yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with the next episode of project infinity so until then goodbye and have a nice day